Hi guys, Sonia here. I have uh, something new to show you. This is the box. And I, I'm not sure that you can see uh, real colors now. I mean, for some, maybe it's because of the window and the light. But it is brown with a little bit of uh, kiwi green, <laughs> and um, it's an altered box. So it's made out of, I think, some really, really strong chipboard or something like that. And I painted it with several layers of paint, browns and greens, of course. I also added some crackle medium to you know, achieve that look here and there. I added some uh, acrylic varnish, uh, not all over, just in some places. And I also added some metal feet. These are uh, actually some metal pieces from an old handbag. And when that bag was, you know, done, <laughs> I took all those metal pieces and saved them. And now I use them as small legs for this box. And this here is metal. I attached it with two metal uh, brads, not brads, they're not like two, uh, uh, what, what's it called, oh my god, on the back, it's just like a, um, there, there was one like needle type of thing on the back, <laughs> I'm not, I don't know what I'm saying, anyway, it's metal also. And this, uh, I found this piece like like this, you know, all rusted with a little bit of white paint on it. And I just added uh, some brown paint to just to tone it down. And I love how that handle looks. Let me, yeah, here, can you see? That's really, really great. So, when you open that up, you have a journal inside. So let me just put that here and um, show you what's inside the box. So I covered the whole box with uh, actually the inside with paint first, then um, some modeling paste, then I added this, uh, this uh, like mesh fabric type of thing and some modeling paste here and there you know with um, paint again and I just kept adding layers until I was very happy with it and on the bottom there's a heart made out of air dry clay and uh, I also painted that and added uh, that acrylic varnish uh, this uh, rope twine and yeah there's a lot of texture on the inside and um, this is glued down so it stays in the box you know all that love must stay in the box <laughs> so that's that and the journal is this tiny one 
I have this metal piece here with the number 33 and this vintage key. This is also vintage and I just put it on, on that uh, rope there. Uh, there's an uh, eyelet here and this is a this is metal this piece I found it I, I have no idea what that wa was in its previous life but now it's just um, great it looks great here these are also some metal um, pieces this also and I just added two small brads to keep this thing in place here's the back it also has a little bit of that varnish just to give it that shine and the reinforced spine with the same fabric as the one on the inside of this box so it opens like this and the inside we have and yeah the cover was made out of a cereal box or cookie box something like that so I have my um, handmade paper, a very textured and rustic looking one with seeds inside and some coffee grains. You see, one just fell out. <laughs> I love it. It feels so natural and it goes really well with these lovely imprints here with my eco dyed paper. And some tea dyed paper, of course. Actually, it's, everything is uh, tea dyed. Yeah, and it's more or less the same. I didn't add any pockets or anything in this one because uh, it would be too much, you know, in my opinion. With the, the cover as it is, and this box and the heart and everything. I really think that, you know, this was absolutely enough. You know, there's enough texture and uh, color there. So, um, that's that. Yeah, I added some rope here to, um, for closure. Yep. So that's a small, actually a tiny journal that goes into this box and that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!